All right, so I think I walked this floor probably about 60 times. And this, this booth here, by far, hands down, is the most interesting, uh, eclectic, uh, eclectic, is that a term? I don't know. But they had that, you want Star Wars? They got Star Wars. We all know I'm a big wrestling fan. They got the old school WWF hat. They have Jones Collins autograph, Pee Wee Herman scooter and helmet from Pee Wee's. That's not the only thing this place has from Pee Wee's Playhouse. Uh, lots of Jay and Silent Bob. This is the actual outfit that Ace Ventura wore during the movie Ace Ventura. It, it's, it's incredible. But that's not, that's not the, the, they have a, a, a screen-worn Moby's employee shirt, but this is the, what do they say, taste of resistance? What's that word? Pa yeah, taste of, it's not that, it's not that. But this here is the Pee Wee Playhouse video booth. This is your video booth. Yes, it is. You stole it from the playoffs. I wish the story was that exciting. Um, unfortunately, our wallets have a little bit because we had a bid on, they did a TV movie auction. Uh -huh. So they took Mork and Mindy stuff, Pee Wee stuff, stuff from TV back in the 60s and 70s, 80s and whatnot. And my wife and I have been dying to get Pee Wee stuff. Right. And we fought tooth the nail and we wound up winning it. And this is from the TV show, not the Broadway production? Correct. No, this is not a replica. This is legit from the show. We have the certificate right here. Certificate of Authenticity, Thanks which means store. They are 100% legit. We've gotten multiple props from them. Oh, uh, oh, hold on. They got a real, uh, not booster. Nobody wants booster. They want Turbo Man. Look at that. A real Turbo. Did they ever make a Turbo Man? Hold on. Did they ever make a Turbo Man doll? They did. They made one for the public to sell. Um, but the big prop ones, there's a ton of the boosters and a ton of uh, the villain. I can't think of his name. Uh, Dementor, right? That, yeah, no. I think I, yeah, no, 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 no. No, that's not right. Wrong show. Is it? No. Uh, who was the bad guy? Well, the bad guy was... Uh, we got 50,000 people yelling on us. Wait, this was also from Beetlejuice? That, that was Alec Baldwin as the animatronic puppet. Well, not animatronic, but as his miniature puppet when they threw him and Barbara through the bridge and killed him. And it was a, that's from uh, the movie, The Riddler? Film? That is actually a prototype. It never saw the screen, but Jim Ward, he tested it out. They had a couple outfits that they were going to use. Wow. And they just never wound up using that. One of Tim Burton's copper boards from Batman Returns. Tim Burton himself. Clap that down. Also one of uh, Penguin's deck gondolas from the Frozen Zoo at the end of the movie where it blew up. That's why it's all charred up. Oh. Can you see? Here's the actual can. Wow. Oh, see, he covered up the Del Monte. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's got the original cord. There's no screen because the screen would have to come out for the camera angle. They sealed it um, once the show was done, mm -hmm. but this used to come off and then they would have the camera. So you would see. Oh, you would see Pee Wee, Wee and then like they this. would switch it back yeah. and then you would see whatever he's talking to. And is this an actual or did you make that yourself? No, that came like that. Unfortunately, that's the only one. I don't know if they had other ones that they would swap them out. But yeah, he would, he would do different. Said, it would be a correct. different scene. Yeah. Like, yeah. Underwater, underwater or yeah. Yeah. or uh, the one space. That we, got, we got stuck with the underwater and that's, one. The cam um, that is really cool. We haven't set up personally just because it doesn't fit in the house. But we were told that all the mechanisms still work. So if we did want to hook it up, we can. All the cords and cables are still coming out um, from the back. And yeah, this is probably one of our pride and joys. So do hopefully you, the fans you don't like have, it. You have kids? I do. I got a, I got a daughter. Do they appreciate the stuff or not? The older one does. She, she's turning 10, my stepdaughter. She loves this kind of stuff. She's just starting to get into conventions. And Eight or nine is when kids start liking pee. Right? It's, it's weird. And then around 13, I always like pee. Yeah, that, that's that's that, awesome. that, that was our that was our Saturday mornings though. That's why that's that, that was our generation. Right. So. Wow. So how is how how do you, how do you start? Do you just one day buy a wrestling T-shirt or a wrestling figure, get it autographed? My, my suggestion is, especially if you want to be happy doing this stuff, is start out as a hobby. That's what we did. My right. wife and I started out as a hobby, collecting memorabilia. She was collecting stuff before I ever met her. I had a collection of stuff before mm -hmm. she met me. We combined and we put our collections together slowly but surely. We started getting into movie props. Um, we had a lot of people started asking us if they can see it, so we tried to see how we can get it around as like a, a tour, a right. museum. Sure. And now we can sell off a lot of our autograph stuff too. We work with a lot of celebrities. We just worked recently with uh, Clive Barker okay. and uh, Joey Lauren Adams. We also have I first see. time ever. Uh -huh. 
uh, Jeff Anderson, who played Randall in Clerks. Uh -huh. um, he's going to be doing his first private signing. We have exclusive items on our site, lulumultiprops.com. Okay. And Kevin Smith and Jason Muse are also going to be joining us for this uh, signing as well. I got engaged at a Kevin Smith Q&A. Oh, that's I went awesome. up and acted like I was yeah. asking the questions, and I proposed. Oh, that's the way but you do it. You know how he never shuts the hell up. So I was the first question. <laughs> so I asked, I said, hey, will you marry me? But I paid 80 bucks for the show, so I, I, I ain't leaving. I sat there and watched the whole show. My girlfriend was like, I'm in, my fiance. Yeah, but it was, it was great. Uh, so what's the one piece that you don't take on tour? What's the one piece you keep? That we don't take on tour? Um, one piece that's locked up in the room right now because of all the chaos today is we have a rocket penguin from Batman Returns, um, which is one of our yeah, favorite yeah, yeah. pieces. But the wing is a little, uh, so we didn't want to lug it around with all the stuff going on. So we will have it here tomorrow for display. Okay. Um, what else do we have? Chris, Chris Jericho yeah. Standy signed by Y2. I don't think he signs Y2J anymore. No, very rarely. If you ask him, he might. But yeah, that, that was one of the old ones. Chef Boyardee. I went to WrestleMania Access, WrestleMania 15 yeah. Access. Okay. Here, here at the convention center. $80. We saw Fat Joe. We saw... Isaac Hayes, Zoot, uh, Cherry Pop and Daddies, they served us Chef Boyardee. That was it. That's Mick wow. Foley started his campaign. $80. Yeah. WrestleMania tickets were 60 Access was 80 That is awesome. Shen Doherty. Shen Doherty. She's only done one or two conventions probably ever. Uh -huh. This, there's only 500 that were ever made, and this is the only one in existence that's signed by all three, because Catherine O'Hara does not sign. I have photos of her signing it. This was put right on her office desk for her to sign through an agent. I'm not going to name him because he might not want that out Okay. There. Um, I'll edit that out. But yeah, this is legit. The only one in existence right now. But wow. we have all the, all the stuff. We've gotten stuff. Oh, Tim Curry. Curry order uh, I got a chance to work with Rob Schneider. Um, Tony Todd, who plays Candyman. He's a hell of a guy. But we like all the rare stuff. Not uh, not every day do you see a signed hook. Oh, Ruf Boss Boy. Rufio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Rufio. Christian Slater signed that for us. Mincy is still unpunched. Uh, Bam Bam Bigelow. Oh wow! He's super, I've never God seen another one before. Soul. Quick, a little shout out to Beckett just to see people are real. Okay. <laughs> wow. Is that a Jax? Or no? That's that is a classic. That, that classic Jax, right? Correct. Yeah. And then uh, autographed Weird Al Yankovic. Oh, Yankovic. Oh. These are also very rare. These aren't signed, but these are hard to get. This was actually Tower Records exclusive. Oh, okay. One of the last exclusives before they went out of business. Wow, that's awesome. So if people want to find you, they want to go go to a website. Where would they go? Yeah, right here, right to Lilu. Multiprops, okay. dot com. You can find us on social media. Hashtag us and search us. Any kind of social media platform. Lilu Multiprops, you'll find us. We're out there. I promise. And you ship anywhere around? We will ship around the world as long as they're willing to pay shipping. Okay. Absolutely. Well, you ship to Philadelphia. Most of oh, the people yeah. really yeah. watch me. So, all right. Well, that's it. Look, Pee Wee's. I saw that. I stopped. I was like, "There's no way that's the real one." Oh no, it's the real one. All right. Well, thank you so much for yeah, your time. Man, absolutely. And, and uh, yeah. make sure you visit his website. Toodles.